குருஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை தி போர்ட் ஆஃப் டைரக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோகஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ்அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus free bus for lkg to 8th standard free hygienic and nutritious food neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg to plus 2 kurunji education institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in in continuation to the last class in this class we are going to discuss two example problems example problem 6.8 and example problem 6.9 in this class related to our last topic that is what we already discussed that is the principle of conservation of mechanical energy and work energy theorem work energy theorem okay right now what is the statement of work energy theorem in case of only conservative forces are doing work the total mechanical energy of the system right okay uh, sorry for this ma i'll repeat once again i'll repeat once again sorry for inconvenience see here what is the statement of work energy theorem the amount of sorry the amount of work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy i'll repeat once again here before going to discuss these two example problems i have to i have to what is that i have to uh, i have to say two different or two important things one is work energy statement that is what work energy theorem statement and then law of conservation of mechanical energy law of conservation of mechanical energy right okay so first i am going to define i am going to say the statement of work energy theorem what is the statement here the amount of work done on a body or on an object the amount of work done on a body or on an object is equal to is equal to change in kinetic energy of the same body change in kinetic energy of the same body right as simple as such work done is equal to change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy so mathematically you can write kf minus ki is equal to w right next what is the statement of law of conservation of mechanical energy or principle of conservation of mechanical energy right okay so here i am defining the law of conservation of mechanical energy ma so listen in case of conservative forces in case of conservative forces are doing work only in case of only conservative forces are doing work right the total mechanical energy of the system total mechanical energy of the system remains constant right so what does it mean the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy remains constant so the magnitude of either kinetic energy or potential energy may change but the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy remains constant so that you can say total mechanical energy of the system remains constant under under the action of only conservative forces under the action of only conservative forces okay right so what i am saying is i just now i told you what is the statement of work energy theorem and what is the statement of uh, law of conservation of mechanical energy 
law of conservation of mechanical energy okay right now we are going to discuss these two example problems and uh, these two example problems are not like problems these two example problems gives lot of information about lot of information about the conservative forces and non conservative forces and the modification in work energy theorem suppose if you want to know if you want to state, state work energy theorem including non conservative forces also then what is the statement what is the statement right so that also we are going to know that's why these example problems reveals lot of information lot of valuable information which helps us when we are going to solve the problems related to competitive exams like neat je mains etc right okay see this first example problem that is what uh, example 6.8 see here to simulate car accidents to simulate car accidents auto manufacturers study the collision of moving cars study the collision of moving cars moving uh, study the collision of moving cars with mounted springs of different spring constants of different spring constants right full stop consider a typical simulation with a car of mass 1000 kg moving with a speed of 18 kilometers per hour on a smooth road and colliding with a horizontally mounted spring of spring constant 6.25 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per meter full stop what is the maximum compression of the spring what is the maximum compression of the spring okay right so i'll repeat once again and now when i'm going to repeat the same problem i have to say some of the definitions that is what important one here we used one word that is collision so what is meant by collision right collision is an interaction among the bodies in short interval of time collision is an interaction among the bodies in short interval of time so here the collision is between the car and the spring that is okay right to simulate car accidents auto manufacturers study the collisions of moving cars with mounted springs of different spring constants full stop consider a typical simulation with a car of mass 1000 kg moving with a speed of 18 kilometers per hour on a smooth road and colliding with a horizontally mounted spring of spring constant 6.25 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per meter right full stop what is the maximum compression of the spring what is the maximum compression of the spring that we are going to that we need to find okay right see here we are going to calculate and we are going to do right solution see this at the maximum compression the kinetic energy of the car is converted entirely into the potential energy of the spring okay right okay at the maximum compression the kinetic energy of the car is converted entirely into the potential energy of the spring i request you to imagine a spring right fixed to one end and another end is in, is going to in contact with the car when car is going to touch when car is going to compress right so you must keep this imagination in your mind till completion of this problem right okay i'll repeat once again at the maximum compression you know very well when you apply some force on the spring what will happen it compress so at the maximum compression the kinetic energy of the car is converted entirely into the potential energy of the spring is a fact right now the kinetic energy of moving car is the kinetic energy of the moving car is the formula you know that is what of mv square so 1 by 2 into 10 power 3 that is what 1000 kg into 5 into 5 so why 5 means he mentioned the speed of the car is 18 km per hour that we have to convert into meters per second ma so you can see here 18 km per hour is equal to 18 into 5 by 18 that is equal to 5 meters per second anyhow 
if you convert 18 kilometers per hour into meters per second it will be 5 it will be 5 so here 5 into 5 so that kinetic energy it will be 1.25 into 10 to the power of 4 joules 1.25 into 10 to the power of 4 joules it is the kinetic energy of the moving car right okay so at maximum compression at maximum compression xm the potential energy v of the spring is equal to the kinetic energy k of the moving car at maximum compression xm the potential energy v of the spring is equal to the kinetic energy k of the moving car right so one more statement that is what based on the situation right it's a fact next after that from the principle of conservation of mechanical energy from the principle of conservation of mechanical energy v is equal to half k x m square is equal to 1.25 into 10 to the power of 4 joules right so please please imagine please observe there is a spring one end of the spring is fixed to a wall and some other like resin thing and the other end is going to touch by the car so when it is going to when the spring is going to get maximum compression by the time the kinetic energy of the moving car must be equal to the must be equal to the what is that potential energy of the spring right so then mathematically of k into xm square is equal to 1.25 into 10 to the power of 4 joules right so the spring constant also given as 6.25 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per meter so that you can find xm that is what the compression in the spring it will be 2 meters right okay here the mass of the spring is negligible and the surface has been considered to possess negligible friction am i right or not we didn't consider the mass of the spring at the same time we didn't consider the frictional force so what does it mean the surface is smooth surface is smooth right so this is what the idealized situation idealized situation means because of some assumptions two assumptions one is the mass of the spring is negligible and a very less amount of mass and the surface is also smooth okay right now we are going to talk some more about conservative forces because conservative force means you know what is meant by conservative force the work done due to which force is position dependent then that force is said to be conservative force right okay next uh, the work done due to which force is path dependent that force is said to be non conservative force okay right but here what i am saying is we conclude this section by making a few remarks on conservative forces right now we are going to discuss some remarks on conservative forces right the first remark is information on time is absent from the above discussion so in this discussion when car is going to compress when car is going to hit that is what uh, when car is going to in contact with the spring how much time it takes to compress the spring we didn't mention we didn't discuss we didn't discuss right suppose when we are calculating the compression when we are calculating right in this example whatever the problem we discussed we can calculate the compression but not the time over which the compression occurs if you go for a newton second law of motion for this system right so a solution of newton second law of motion for this system is required for temporal information right so finally what he want to say is in this discussion we didn't consider the time to compress the spring time to compress the spring we 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 thought that we considered that immediately the so we, we neglected we neglected the time taken to compress the spring right that is the first remark second one is not all the forces are conservative that that the fact you know because gravitational force is conservative force and uh, frictional force is the non-conservative force that's why you know very well not all the forces are conservative right friction is a non-conservative force right so the principle of conservation of energy will have to be modified in this case is it need or not yes 
So what is the principle of conservation of energy? We are saying that in the in the case of only conservative forces are doing work, the total mechanical energy of the system remains constant. But uh, if you consider non-conservative force in one system, then what happens? So that's why the principle of conservation of energy has to be modified. Has to be modified, right? Next, next last remark is the zero of the potential energy is arbitrary. It is arbitrary. It is set according to our convenience, right? For the spring force we took, for the spring force we took, V of x is equal to zero. At x is equal to zero, had zero potential energy. We are thinking like that. We are assuming like that. It's a reference position. It is a reference position, right? Okay. For the constant gravitational force, for the constant gravitational force. Mg, we took V is equal to zero on the Earth's surface. We took V is equal to zero on the Earth's surface, right? In the next chapter, that is what uh, we will see that we shall see that the force due to the inverse law of gravitation in the chapter of gravitation, the zero is best defined at an infinite distance from the gravitational source, right? So what he is saying is, in case of spring. You are thinking that when the spring is in unstretched position, the potential energy is zero. Similarly, in case of gravitational force, you are assuming that potential is zero, gravitational potential energy is zero on at surface. So these two are the assumed things. These two are the points we we consider to measure the rest of the things. It's not a problem, but once you assume that you have to continue throughout the discussion. That is the important point we have to do when we are getting the discussion, right? Okay. So these are the remarks of conservative forces. Next uh, example, six point nine. See, it is another example, ma. But this example also related to this one. You just see here. Consider example six point eight. Consider example six point eight. See here. Taking the coefficient of friction mu. Taking the coefficient of friction. mu to be 0.5 to be 0.5 and calculate the maximum compression of the spring and calculate the maximum compression of the spring he is asking by giving coefficient of friction that is what giving coefficient of friction means automatically the surface is rough the surface uh, uh, exhibiting or experiencing some frictional force right To be 0.5, so mu value is 0.5, and asking to calculate the maximum compression of the spring. Maximum compression of the spring. Okay, right. See this. You first try to understand this picture, ma. So it is what a uh, spring, and it is like a block or car. So here in this in this uh, example or in our discussion, it is a car, and two forces will act. One is basically downward force mg, another one is normal force. and regarding the spring kx force in this direction and the frictional force also in this direction that is what uh, mu mg mu mg right so it is the equilibrium position it is the equilibrium position and uh, this is the x direction right it is like a rigid surface to which uh, one end of the spring is connected right so in this problem he is asking to find what is the maximum compression of the spring what is the maximum compression of the spring okay right see this see here in the presence of friction in the presence of friction both the spring force and the frictional force both the spring force and the frictional force act so as to oppose the compression of the spring see here in the presence of friction both the spring force and frictional force act so as to oppose the compression of the spring as shown in the figure right so here it is the spring force and it is the frictional force right now now according to work energy theorem so we invoke we invoke work energy theorem rather than the conservation of mechanical energy right so from the statement of work energy theorem here change in kinetic energy that is what uh, change in kinetic energy 
Now, what is the change in kinetic energy? It is 0 minus half mv square because it starts from uh, 0 initial velocity. No, that is why it is 0 minus half mv square, right. So, that is usual notations, ma? that is the usual notations. And uh, sorry for saying again, here we have to consider the car when it is moving with some velocity, when it is moving with some velocity that is v. But after a certain period of time, this is going to compress the spring and finally the velocity of the car becomes 0. So, in this example, in this situation, initial velocity is v and final velocity is 0. That is why here k f minus k i is equal to 0 minus half m v square. Right? Okay. The work done by the net force is, so in this example, he is going to calculate the work done by the net force. So, you know very well that is what here W is equal to minus 1 by 2 k into x m square minus 1 by 2 into k into x m square minus mu m g into x m. Right? So, this is the work done. This is the work done here because the spring is present and friction is also present. This is the total work done. So, that is what uh, work done by the net force, work done by the net force, right. Okay. So, it is like one equation, it is like another equation from these two things because what is the statement of work energy theorem? Work done by the net force is equal to change in kinetic energy. So, here it will be half mv square is equal to, so it is half mv square mathematical lemma there is a minus that minus will go this side and we are multiplying the entire equation with minus. So, that half m v square is equal to 1 by 2 k x m square see already before minus is there now here it will be plus and here it is also plus plus mu m j into x m. So, it is a because of frictional force it is because of a, a spring force ok right. Now, you know very well mu m g is, you can calculate that mu m g because mu is 0 0.5, m is 1000 and g is 10. So, mu m g will become 5 into 10 to the power of 3 newtons, it is ok. But you can rearrange this equation, you can rearrange this equation like this. Then it is the form of quadratic equation now, that is what uh, a x square plus b x plus c, a x square plus uh, b x plus c like that uh, form. So, this is like quadratic equation and you can solve the quadratic equation to find the roots right. So, from that, from that, so if you solve this quadratic equation, you will get it as x m is equal to x m is equal to minus mu m g plus mu square m square g square plus m k v square whole power this is this is whole power means for these two terms ma whole power 1 by 2 divided by k divided by k right. So, here we have to take we, we, we take the positive square root because x m is positive because x m is positive right. So, and substitute the numerical values. So, whatever they have given what is that the mu value m value g value everything whatever they have given. Then you can find out that x m is 1.35 meters, x m is 1.35 meters. And here one important thing is in our previous problem that is what uh, previous example problem in the same class we got x m as 2 meters, x m as 2 meters, but here we got x m as 1.35 meters. So, this uh, this uh, what is that uh, this value is less than the previous value this value is less than the previous value right that is that is what we have to observe right ma because here we considered the frictional force we consider the frictional force in our previous example we did not consider the frictional force there we took a, a surface as a smooth but here surface is rough ok right. So, this is the what uh, compression of the spring we calculated this is the maximum compression of the spring regarding this situation or uh, this uh, values numerical values situation basically because friction is present now. So, it is completely belongs to the situation and the maximum compression of the spring in this case is 1.35 meters ok right. Now, you see that how can we define 
द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वर्क एनर्जी थीरम इंक्लूडिंग द नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस राइट इंक्लूडिंग इफ इफ ओनली कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस आर देयर दैट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड बट हियर द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वर्क एनर्जी थीरम वी कैन राइट वी कैन राइट इफ आर इंक्लूडिंग द नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस आल्सो इंक्लूडिंग द नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स आल्सो राइट so conservative forces and non conservative forces for example conservative forces means here according to our notation it is fc and non conservative forces means it is fnc right so this is the statement this is what uh, mathematical form of work energy theorem including non conservative forces including non conservative forces that is what uh, observe carefully force due to the conservative this is was conservative force plus non conservative so we are taking that is what uh, vectorial sum sum right into delta x is equal delta k right it is what the uh, force into displacement is equal to that is what uh, work and work is equal to change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy and uh, one important thing here we have to remember fc into delta x is equal to minus del v fc into delta x is equal to minus del v that is from the concept of potential energy what we discussed uh, i think before two classes when we discussed about the concept of potential energy there i told you fc into delta x is equal to minus del v right that we are substituting here because it is what fc into del x plus fnc into del x so in place of fc into del x i want to put minus del v and this del k it is what uh, delta k no right so you take this minus delta v to that side then what will happen delta k plus delta v delta k plus delta v is equal to f n c into delta x the delta k plus delta v you can write it as delta into k plus v delta into k plus v when you write delta into k plus v that is equal to f n c into delta x k plus v means total energy no so e is the total mechanical energy here so you can write delta e is equal to f n c into delta x f n c into delta x okay so this is what the delta e means what ma e f minus e i no e f minus e i this is what f n c into delta x means what that is the work done due to non conservative force right so the work done due to non conservative force is that is what the difference in mechanical energy difference in total mechanical energy you can also say that the total work done by the non conservative forces over the path that is what uh, wnc is equal to is equal to ef minus ei and uh, wnc depends on the particular path wnc that is what work done by non conservative force depends upon the particular path that is from i to f from initial to final okay that is right okay so in this class we learned we discussed two example problems example problem 6.8 and example problem 6.9 but one of the important thing is the same problem we discussed from two different aspects in the first case we didn't consider that is what uh, frictional force so assumed surface to be smooth but in the second case that is what example 6.9 we consider the frictional force and most important thing in this class is we derived work energy theorem for non conservative forces also for non conservative forces also in one situation if non conservative forces are also present then we need not to bother because in this class we derived an expression including non conservative forces also right at the same time we also discussed some of the remarks about conservative forces while solving the problems related to the related to the related to that particular situation okay right thank you we'll continue in the next class